Today, surviving students, they keep on fighting for their classmates and their teachers. Yeah, their fight now hundreds of miles north of Parkland. It's at the state capitol. Lauren St. Germain joins us now in the studio with a ruling that's making them fight even harder. But first, though, Lauren, you have some video of them arriving overnight. Yeah, it was a pretty happy moment when they arrived in Tallahassee. You see right here they're arriving to rounds of applause from other students in Tallahassee and just people who were in the capitol greeting them. These students want to make sure no one else dies in a mass shooting. Yesterday, the Florida House of Representatives voted down a bill that would ban assault rifles. Law enforcement say that the high school shooter used an AR-15 to kill 17 people one week ago today. Some of the students watched that vote and needless to say, you see right here, they were visibly upset. Listen to one student react to the ruling. Next death of someone with an assault rifle here in Florida is going to be on them. It's going to be on them and it's going to be their fault that those people are dead and that those people aren't going to go home to their families. Coming up on ABC Action News at 6, one of the students who is part of the Never Again movement explains exactly what they are pushing for today when it comes to assault weapons. We have a crew in Tallahassee right now and we'll keep you updated throughout the day on our ABC Action News mobile app. Dia.